Hi, and welcome to Deep in the Bunker, the Bunker, Decontam Room, uh, aka a shower room. Uh, I call it Decontam Room because it is. This is literally the first step of decontamination should um, SHTF hit the fan. Um, by SHTF, I mean uh, nuclear Armageddon. So you're caught out in a blast. Um, the first things you need to do, get undercover, uh, shield your body, and then get indoors. Just before you get indoors, always, always, always strip off every item of your clothing, your outer layers, I mean. Um, you know, maybe in layers, depending on the dose radiation area. You won't know that until um, later on told by authorities. But then get inside and have a shower. Have a shower at a warm temperature. So this is why I built the decontam center. Excuse me. This is, um, this is it. So as you saw last week, I was lining the walls. And now they're fully lined and ready to go. So the biggest challenge I had with decontamination room was putting, putting the shower and actually putting it down here. This room is tiny. It is a mere 1.7 across by two and a half meters. Excuse me, my son's in the background, but that's family for you. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I say you can see there's a shower chamber, uh, heavily insulated. And the biggest challenge I've had to have come so far is, uh, apart from getting it down here into this teeny, teeny room, is in fact uh, getting the water out. So water on your body and then getting the water out. Um, I say it's such a small room, um, door, walls, uh, you know, shower out, it's tiny. But uh, overcoming all that so that should SHTF really hit the fan, deep in the bunker is good to go. So moving on from having a shower, you've had your shower, your outer clothes are off first of all, you've had a shower, and uh, now you're out, you're dripping dry, uh, you've got to get dry, you've got to get changed clothes. So obviously next step, uh, get yourselves a wardrobe, stick uh, your clothes in it, okay, it's empty at the moment, but here you can see uh, many layers of um, shelving here, so that any clothes that I need um, are there, they're pre-stored, and they're ready to go, and then it's on from there, get yourself dressed, get yourself into a um, secondary chamber because this uh, chamber may now be contaminated. Although we've uh, taken all our clothes off outside um, the shower room, inside now you'll still have that residual radiation and um, yeah, it's controlled contamination. So could presume that the outside of your house is completely contaminated, take your clothes off on entering, get inside, get showered, get changed into fresh clothes, uh, you know, whatever you've got, some nice bit of cotton. Dad. And don't forget, when you're showering, it's Dad. soap and shampoo only. No conditioner. Uh, conditioner is really bad. It allows Daddy. particles to stick to your hair, and that's what no one wants. Okay. So when designing the bunker, uh, my primary uh, thought is decontamination and everyday uh, sanitation. So as you can see, uh, just down here, we have an actual flushing toilet. And that was an amazing step up. Originally, it was going to be a temp chemical toilet, but um, with you know, with the ability of a pump, I've been able to take this out to a septic tank and um, store it safely. So it's pretty good for the house, uh, pretty good for the bunker, and um, no one's aware that I can be down here for long periods of time, days, weeks, uh, whatever the situation uh, demands. So this has been a very uh, brief. Uh, look around the bunker but it's not complete i only want to show it off when it is completed um lack of electricity at the moment lack of heating and it's frozen down here absolutely frozen below ground so uh, these are next steps to be putting in and uh working out logistics of how to get it all down here uh, do i hook up to the um, house's existing uh plumbing or do i rely on some secondary backup as i say i've already got a generator that'll run for eight hours giving me power but uh, being below ground, uh, if you was in winter, would you want to be um, frozen? Probably not. You know, it's going to be like one, two degrees. And no matter how many jumpers you got on, you're going to want to be warm. It's not going to be pleasant whatsoever uh, with the added stress of um, whatever's going on in the outside world. Yeah. So um, that's it for the moment. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This has been Deep in the Bunker. Stay safe. Stay safe.